Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and it'll be a pretty quick video today. I, I'm getting a lot of questions about this mesh bracelet that I put on my Flightmaster, which, by the way, I do not believe this watch is discontinued because I continue to receive them. Um, granted, I just I had them a whole bunch of them they sold out, but I will be receiving more. So, I figured let's talk about the mesh bracelet uh, and an option that I have for you that you might enjoy. So, just my wrist check, the Flightmaster. And I recently started with the uh, Timex Q. I had another one. I had one of these floating on my desk. Seems to be the recurring theme. I was like, ah, let me try it for a bit. And I'm kind of growing on it. People really, people claim it's a major hair puller. Um, it's actually not bad. And I, I'm, I do have a decent amount of hair on my arm. Uh, it does catch every now and again, but uh, not, not, not horrendous. So uh, let's talk about Flight Masters. So the Flight Master Seiko... Uh, Oops, tag's falling out. SNA411P1 uh, is this watch. It's extremely popular um, for a number of reasons. Very functional, and it's built very well. Um, it's got a built-in slide rule, rotary slide rule that looks cool. Um, but it's a chronograph. It's an alarm. Uh, it's 200 meters of water resistance. It's got screw-down crowns and buttons and a domed crystal. It's really a great looking watch. Uh, just extremely, you know, checks the boxes all around. The one thing that I'm not a fan of personally is the bracelet it comes on. It's this two-tone bracelet, uh, not two-tone, uh, polished and matte bracelet, all steel, nice clasp. Uh, but the problem is the watch is only 21 millimeter lug. What I did a while back was I took the bracelet from a Seiko 5, a project that I had on my desk, and it was a 22 millimeter lug, and I was able to shave one millimeter off each side of the, of the uh, lugs. Excuse me, half a millimeter. So this side's a little loose. So it was this side, but it fits. And what I dug about this look was and I unfortunately can't replicate this again, is that it's got the Seiko logo on it. So that's what I did to mine. But then I got to thinking, you know what? Uh, a few years ago, uh, maybe about eh, one to two years ago, maybe, maybe it's not a few, I developed a mesh bracelet for the Orient Bambino, which is also a 21 millimeter lug, but I went with a curved end link on it. So what I want to do today is to show you how you can upgrade the look of your Flightmaster. Uh, from this to very close to this, maybe even better looking um, with a, uh, a Volmer 21 millimeter curved end bracelet that we sell. So if it's something you want to undertake, the first thing you're going to do is remove the bracelet. You need a spring bar tool of some sort. Uh, you know, you get in there with a small fork end, you pull back the spring bar, and you remove the bracelet from both sides. I understand sometimes it's not as easy as it looks on camera. Or sometimes it's even not as hard as it looks on camera, but it definitely will happen for you. So we're going to put the bracelet aside. So here we have the watch with the head. So the bracelet is a two-piece bracelet, you know, your standard slider, uh, you know, this thing over here. You lift up this, this lever right here. You can slide it up and down, push it back down. So you get like an infinite, um, infinite adjustability, if you will. And the ends of the bracelet are slightly curved, not heavy just a slight curvature so that when you do put it on, it actually has a fairly refined look. And because it's 21 millimeter, it fits fine. So it does come with spring pins, but because they're curved ends, it kind of it won't go in all the way. It won't go all the way through. So you do need to put a slight bend in it and you can probably just do it with your fingers. You can slide it right through and there you go. And then to put it on is basically just the same procedure we use to take it off. I'm not going to bore you with the camera. So you'll repeat with the other side and you've got a Flightmaster on a bracelet. And it fits really well. Look at the integration. See how it's curved? It's polished on the end. It actually looks really sweet on the case. Let's see what it looks like on the wrist. And there you go. There's actually a fair amount of adjustability. You can kind of see how much excess there is. This is almost six and three quarter inch wrist. This will easily go you know, seven and three quarter, close to an eight inch wrist. And then on the negative end, you can go as small as you want, uh, but it looks good. See how that curved lug, it doesn't hug the case, but it certainly makes it look like 
a, uh, a refined look. So like I said, a quick video, that's about it. Uh, so this is a uh, Volmer bracelet part number 13081H4C. There's only one Volmer 200 millimeter bracelet, so you'll find it. Anyway, this has been Mark from LongAmmoWatch.com showing you a bracelet for your flight master. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.